Okay, hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This time, by popular request, I'm going to show you a few slides of my JC70 bicycle. This is a tricycle which I got recently from Performer Cycles, and I made my own Velomobile shell over it. I used plastic electrical conduit, sold in the UK under the Wix brand name, but also available all over the world. It's made from PVC, and you can just warm it up with a hairdryer slightly, and you've got to bend it into some curves around your Velomobile. Um, this particular one, uh, you just heat it up with a little bit of a hot air gun. I made some plastic spacers to actually attach the frame to the um, the plastic frame to the frame on the actual velomobile itself. You can easily just heat up this kind of plastic and bend it around on itself, or even rivet it into place. I also use some cable ties at key locations. This allows you to give it a little bit of movement. And to insert uh, pieces to make extended lengths, you can just warm up the tube and force other pieces of tube inside it. It's a good idea on any velomobile to make sure that uh, you've got uh, toe clips on your pedals or something to retain your feet on the pedals anyway. This particular one literally fits just over the frame, the standard frame, and it doesn't have a floor. As you can see, I just used some nuts and bolts here and there on the water bottle holders to hold the main frame. Uh, there are special plastic clips that are available to hold uh, PVC tubing. Over the outer side, outer part of the Velomobile, I made a shell out of corrugated plastic. This is, looks a little bit like corrugated cardboard, but this particular one's made of corrugated plastic. It's the same as a state agent signs and things like that. It's sold in the UK in hardware stores for protective floor covering for builders. You can just warm it up a little bit and then you can bend it over the frame and then either glue it or use cable ties to hold it in place. I didn't want to damage any of the original frame, so I actually used some foam rubber and foam tape around the frame at various points so that nothing would scratch it. It's generally a good idea to just sort of bend the sheets around first and use cable ties to hold them in place, and then you can cut the plastic away afterwards um, once you've got it about the right shape. Making the uh, aero bubble, the windscreen, is the, one of the hardest bits. And you can get a sheet of clear plastic and basically warm it up and you're going to bend it into a bubble. Okay, so I use some um, foam insulation foam, pipe foam, around the edges of the uh, shell so that if you actually went over a bump you didn't cut your face if you banged onto it. And uh, the idea of this velomobile really was to keep the rain off. It wasn't really anything to improve aerodynamics or anything else, so I just wanted it as light as possible. Okay, to get the bubble I made a big uh, plywood box which I lined with foil and uh, put uh, some heaters in the bottom of it and then uh, put some plastic in the top. The idea is that if you blew hot air onto the plastic sheeting you would actually be able to uh, blow a bubble. So I used an old vacuum cleaner modified to blow instead of suck, uh, heated up the plastic and generally blew some air into it and when it came out of the oval cut and the board there, you see there, it makes quite a good bubble and then you can trim that and add it to the top of the velomobile. It's very thin plastic but when it's uh, formed into a bubble it's actually quite stiff. Unfortunately I don't have any extra pictures of it actually completely finished and trimmed off but it did work quite well, it's quite warm and it did keep you dry. Anyway, thanks for watching.